Hey YouTube! Okay, so today I want to talk about the vitamins that I take daily to help me keep my hair, skin, and nails healthy. First and foremost, I want to start off with my multivitamin. I think that this vitamin is especially important because it really helps round out your diet and it gets in all of the important vitamins and minerals. So it has a little bit of C vitamin, um, E, B vitamins, iron, calcium, and things like that. And these just help you um, get in the extra nutrients because we're not always eating enough of the different types of food groups. So this really helps you to balance out your diet. And the one that I take, um, this is the bottle. It's called Essentra Balance. Hopefully you can see that. And basically it's just the generic brand of the Centrum multivitamin. Um, in I live in Canada, so I get it, my vitamins at the Shoppers Drug Mart here. But um, I guess if you're in the States, you could get it at Target or Walgreens or any other department store that you get your supplements from. Um, the ones we're going to talk about today aren't that rare, so you should be able to find them in, you know, a Walmart even, things like that. Um, so basically, you start off with the multivitamin, and you take this if you're just looking for a general balance in your diet, and you're not looking for anything extra. Um, for me, I am looking for increased hair growth, stronger nails, and clearer skin. So I actually add in an extra biotin supplement, and this is the one that I take. Um, it's by Puritan's Pride, and it's called Super Potency Biotin. And this one is actually 5,000 micrograms. Um, this is actually more than you you need in the day, but they're water soluble. So even if you are taking a little bit extra, it's not going to harm you. It will just pass through your system with with your water, with what as you you know you urinate or through your sweat, things like that. It's not going to stay in your system like um, fat soluble vitamins. And when they stay in your system, obviously you can you could actually get too much of them because they're not they're not leaving. So this is a good vitamin that you can take. Um, it's extra biotin, and I started taking this in November, and I honestly noticed a huge increase in my hair growth. My hair started just growing like crazy, and I was really happy for this because I got a haircut in August that I was not too happy about. So this really helped with that, and um, my nails strengthened up, which was awesome because my nails were kind of flimsy. So this helps strengthen them up and they're growing longer and stronger. So that was an added benefit. Now this wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't say any um, unexpected side effects that you might get. Um, nothing terrible or, you know, or harmful, but you might start seeing some extra hair growth on your arms, your armpits. Um, my sideburns started to extend down a little too far, you know, for my liking. So you have to, you might have to deal with that. Um, for me, I actually just used a little bit of nair on my arms and um, basically just wiped off the hair with that. And I noticed that it didn't grow back any thicker, and um, it really helped with the extra hair growth on my arms. And I guess you just have to start shaving a little bit more. So that's something that you'll have to look out for. But um, I think that the pros definitely outweigh the cons when it comes to taking a biotin supplement if you are looking for increased hair growth and nail growth. So that's what I take. Um, the third supplement that I take is um, a B complex. This is a B50 complex. Um, you can also get B100, but I find since I'm taking um, multivitamin already as well as biotin, I only really need to take the 50 milligram complex. And what is good about this vitamin is that um, B vitamins help you um, release stress, so it actually reduces stress. And if you're a university student like me, I'm sure you know all about stress. And if you're working or, you you know, you're doing whatever, sometimes we get really stressed out. And B vitamins are actually known to help with that. So that's that's a benefit. As well as the extra benefit with um, better, appear better skin appearance, better nails, and better hair. So that's another great vitamin to take. Um, and what I would also want to stress for women is um, an iron supplement. Uh, this is the one I take. It's called Eurofair, 
and it's basically the generic um, the generic version of the Palifer supplement. And I find this is a really great iron supplement, especially for women who are losing blood once a month, and you know sometimes our iron levels aren't able to replenish themselves after after a period. So you need to supplement. But before running out and grabbing an actual supplement, I would check with your doctor first to make sure you actually need one because iron is one of those things where you can get too much of and have adverse effects. So if you go to the doctor and you find that you do need an additional iron supplement, <coughs> Um, I would suggest the Palifer version or Eurofare, and you will honestly notice a huge increase in your um, in your strength and your um, you'll you'll feel less tired throughout the day. Like for me, for example, I would use, I would go to, I try and go to the gym about three times a week, and I noticed when I wasn't taking my iron supplements that I would go to the gym, I would have a great workout, come home, and then just pass out for like two hours. And I was really unhappy because, you know, I have a lot of things I need to get done. and I can't be sleeping, you know, during the day. So I was wondering why I'm not feeling invigorated after a workout and instead I'm feeling really tired. So I went to my doctor and he took a blood test and he did tell me that, in fact, I was anemic. And he also told me that many females, many young females are actually anemic and don't know it. They just think that the fatigue is from lack of sleep or um, a, a subpar diet or something like that. And I, you know, I thought I'm really glad I went to him and investigated because now that I'm taking my iron supplements, I feel so much better. And I work out. I have a great workout, too. My workouts are way more effective, and I'm not tired afterwards. So that's that's been a huge, huge benefit to me. Um, those are my, my four supplements. So to go over again, I take a B50 um, complex supplement for uh, stress relief and also for um, skin, hair, and nails. I take a biotin supplement primarily for my nails and my hair, and that has really, really helped with the growth and strength. I take a multivitamin for overall balance and to round out my diet because sometimes, you know, I'm just grabbing a meal quickly and I'm not really planning things so that I'm getting all of the supplements or all of the vitamins and minerals that I need in my diet. So I supplement with my multivitamin. And also because I, I personally am anemic, so I do need some extra iron in my diet. So I do take an iron supplement as well. Um, one other thing I wanted to note or to add to this is that um, some people uh, opt to take their vitamins uh, before a meal because they find that it can irritate their stomach, especially if they're taking, you know, four different supplements like I am. So a lot of people take it before their breakfast or before dinner, or sorry, um, they have their breakfast and then take the vitamins um, so that you have something in your stomach or, you know, after dinner. Um, personally, my eating schedule is all over the place and I'm eating lunch sometimes us you know, 3 o'clock and dinner sometimes late and it's just, it's crazy. So what I do is I just make it a habit to just take my, my supplements once a day at night before I go to bed and usually I've eaten within a few hours before and um, I find that I have no problems with um, nausea or an upset stomach from taking the supplements. So, you know, you can, you could try doing that and if you find it's starting to make you feel a little bit sick, just try taking it with a little bit of food or after a meal. So those are my supplements. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, post a comment below if you have any questions. And let me know if you would want, like a review on any other supplements or vitamins. Thanks. One thing I do want to note about the um, iron supplement is that um, sometimes when people start taking it and they're not used to it, it can make things a little bit um, stopped up down there, if you know what I mean. So you might actually want to take um, a stool softener with it, and that will help with that problem. And, you know, you might want to take that for the first month as your body gets used to it, and then after that you can just, you can you can stop with the, with the stool softener and you should be okay. But that's just something I also wanted to mention because, you know, that can be a really uncomfortable side effect.